my name is Jess and welcome to my channel, have a look at this. Today I'm going to be doing for you the rapid fire book tag which was created by Girl Reading. I will link her original video below, it's a great video and a great channel. Basically this tag just has a long list of either or book related questions and you have to give an answer without really thinking too much about it beforehand, it's just the first thing that comes into your head. I've seen this tag circling around loads on booktube and it looks so much fun so I really wanted to do it. So without further ado let's just get in with the first question question. Ebook or physical book? Hands down physical books. I had a Kindle a couple of years back and whilst like size and weight wise it was a lot more convenient to lug around and a bunch of paperbacks, for me you just can't really beat the feeling of holding an actual book. For me personally paper and ink is just so much more satisfying than digital screens and I just prefer reading that way. Paperback or hardback? I think I'm gonna have to go with paperback. I do like the durability of hardback covers and I think they look better a lot of the time but when it comes to reading I just find paperbacks so much more convenient. This is just a lot easier to just open and flick through than a hardback alternative. It doesn't fit right in my hands, online or in-store book shopping. Oh, I, this is really hard for me because I love the feeling of going to Waterstones, of going to a bookstore. I'm just browsing around the shelves and picking up books and you know, reading the first page and reading the blurb. I love that feeling of holding just a new book and then going up to the counter and buying it. A lot of the time online book shopping is just a lot cheaper. There are sometimes really good deals online. Trilogies or series? I think I'm gonna have to go with series which actually quite surprises me because sometimes I do struggle to get through a multi-book series but a lot of the time with trilogies I find that there's a very repetitive formula I feel like you can tell when you're reading a trilogy this is first book formula this is second book formula this is finale formula and a lot of them can feel quite samey to me because of how strict that is if that makes any sense theories i think feel a lot more natural to me when i'm reading them they flow better than in trilogies but yeah series heroes or villains this is a really difficult question for me because generally i find villains more interesting than heroes I i'm probably always going to be rooting for the hero so i'm going to have to say heroes on this one the next question is a book that you want everybody to read for this i've gone for to kill a mockingbird by harper lee i just think that the world would be a better place if everybody read to kill a mockingbird it says so much about kindness and about how to treat your fellow man and i think that everyone could easily learn something from atticus finch I recommend an underrated book so for this one i went for finnikin of the rock by melina marchetta and really the entire lumetier chronicles this series just oh my god it's dogged this series and really all of melina marchetta's books just do not get enough attention it's so complex and as always melina marchetta's characterization is on point i really feel like a lot of the themes that you see addressed in this series are so relevant to today's society this is just so brilliant and i wish that more people would read it because it's just it's probably my favourite young adult series that I've ever read, if not my favourite series of all time. The last book you finished. The last book I finished, I finished just yesterday morning and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiebarter. I filmed a review for this which will hopefully be up within the next couple of weeks but spoiler, I absolutely loved it. The last book you bought. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiebarter. I bought this halfway through reading The Raven Boys. It was in a charity shop for such a great price. I just had to pick it up. It's actually still got the price sticker on there. I should probably take that off. The biggest thing you've used as a bookmark? Probably food. I don't really eat that often when I'm reading. When I do eat, it's normally like a biscuit and a cup of tea. I'm pretty sure more than once I have just sort of slid my biscuit in between the pages whilst the kettle's been boiling. Used books, yes or no? 100% yes. Recently, I feel like I've probably bought more used books than I have new books. Generally, used books are just a great deal cheaper and often if you kind of shop around and make sure that you look up reviews from sellers, you can get books that are in just as good condition as a brand new one would be. Three favourite genres. Fantasy, contemporary, and historical fiction. Oh, I can't get my third finger up. Oh. Horror books or buy books? Definitely buy books. I really love just having the book to call my own. I borrow books from the library quite a bit, but there's always pressure to read them right away so you can get them back before the return date. And I don't really like borrowing books from friends too much either because I'm always just very wary of how careful I have to be with it. Characters or plot? Definitely characters. Character driven stories are my favourites. I feel like a book can get away with having very little plot. A lot of contemporary novels for example will have very simple basic plots but they'll still be brilliant if they have well thought out characters. There's a book that has an absolutely amazing plot but very flat characters. 
generally a lot harder to get into. I'm a human and when I read I like to connect to other fictional humans more so than I like to connect to situations and circumstances. Long or short books? Probably long books. I like getting to spend quite a lot of time with characters or with a world. Um, I'm not really keen on short stories on novellas because I'm always like wanting more at the end of it. Long or short chapters? Probably short chapters. There's nothing worse than when a chapter's really dragging and you just want it to finish. Name the first three books you think of. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone or The Light We Cannot See, The Book Thief. Books that make you laugh or books that make you cry? This is also a really hard one because I actually quite like books that make me cry. I have a lot of respect for books that can have such an emotional impact on me. They actually draw tears. But books that make me cry can also leave me feeling really emotionally drained and kind of burned out and I often find it quite hard to pick up another book for a while after I finish reading a book that makes me cry. I think I'm gonna have to go with books that make me laugh just because they make me so much happier and I feel so much lighter after I finish reading them. Bonus points if it's a book that can make me both laugh and cry though. Our world or fictional world? Generally I prefer contemporary books set in our world to fantasy books set in fantasy worlds. I really like getting to see our world but through the lens of a different person. I think that's so interesting to see all these people's different perspectives on life on earth. <laughs> audiobooks, yes or no? I'm gonna say no. I'm not saying that I don't appreciate audiobooks as a form of storytelling, because I do, but personally I do find it quite hard to just sort of sit down in one place and listen for a really long time. Also I like being able to alter my reading pace and you can't really do that with audiobooks, you just sort of have to go along as the speaker is speaking. Sometimes I'm sat there thinking, hurry up, hurry up, I want to find out what happens next, speak faster. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Why do you think I bought this gorgeous classic? Book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Generally I prefer book to TV show adaptations because you just get so much more time with the characters and I think it's a lot easier for it to really draw from the source material of the novel. A movie or TV show that you preferred to the book? Um, If I Stay by Gail Foreman, that film, I definitely prefer, I read the film, I read the, I read the film. I watched the film before I read the book and I definitely preferred the film. For me the emotional impact was just greater watching the film than it was reading the book. Series or standalones? I'm gonna go with standalones on this one. I don't mind completed series but generally there's nothing I hate more than having to wait for the next installment in a series to come out. Often by the time that book is out my excitement for it has just dropped. Standalones are great because you get the whole story and one little package that you can read in one go if you want to. So yeah that was the rapid fire book tag. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed making it. Thank you for watching and until next time goodbye.